When most people think of masks, they think of theater. But before there was theater, there was ritual. And the rituals of a society are often reflections of the human subconscious. Every time we put on a mask or our children have their faces painted, we not only disguise our identity, we take on a new energy and for a moment become something else. Masks are undeniably powerful and throughout recorded time, people have created entertainment, religious ceremonies and festivals around their use. Many of our modern carnivals and Halloween celebrations can be traced back to the spiritual beliefs of the ancient tribal peoples of Europe. Living close to the earth, these people use masks to depict powerful animal and plant spirits. As Christianity swept over Europe, many of these practices became lost. Over the last few hundred years, we have forgotten the original meaning of the masks, just as we have severed our spiritual connection to the natural world. In the early 1960s, psychologist Carl Jung had this to say, man feels himself lost in the cosmos because he is no longer involved in nature. He has freed himself from superstition, but in the process has lost his spiritual values to a positively dangerous degree. Jung was not alone in his belief that industrialized man had somehow sacrificed his soul in favor of mathematics and machinery. Years earlier, philosophers such as Montaigne and artists such as Picasso had recognized the distance that had grown between modern man and his primal soul. In his paintings of African masks, Picasso seems to be telling us that if we want to better understand ourselves, we will have to understand our earliest beginnings. In his time, most people saw these masks as primitive objects, trinkets or curios. Picasso saw in these masks an underlying connection to man's most basic and universal fears. He told his friend André Malraux, for me, the masks were not just sculptures, they were magical objects. They were weapons to keep people from being ruled by spirits. If we give form to these spirits, we become free. Perhaps many of us are